So why do you need CoQ10? Oh my gosh, there's a million reasons why you need CoQ10. Let me tell you a few. First of all, as we age, the production of CoQ10 in the body gets lower. And after the age of 40, it really gets low. And then 70 and 80, it, like, it's a, it drops in the bucket. That's one of the reasons why a lot of elderly women, I used to lecture years ago on this, have idiopathic heart failure. It's not idiopathic. Women in their 70s and 80s, they can't make as much CoQ10 and the heart needs CoQ10. It's vital for ATP production. So I worry about elderly women more than men because a man's liver can make CoQ10 better than a woman's liver. I learned that from Carl Fokers years ago. And we need CoQ10, especially when we age. Now, what does it do? Well, CoQ10 functions as an antioxidant. That's sort of a small function. It, it has a blood thinning effect. That's sort of okay as well. It has a membrane stabilizing effect. I like that because, you know, the sine qua non of aging is disruption of basement membranes and CoQ10 sort of tightens it up. But the best property of CoQ10 is its bioenergetic effect. In other words, it turns on the production or it turns over ATP. And ATP is our chi energy. It's our prana, it's our, it's our vital force. So we need CoQ10 in our bodies. And when CoQ10 levels drop, from whatever reason, aging, pharmaceutical drugs, remember, statins will really kill CoQ10. Like they kill cholesterol, CoQ10 is part of the cholesterol pathway. So if you're taking pharmaceutical drugs like statins, and other drugs do it as well, as beta blockers will block CoQ10 production, oral uh, hypoglycemic agents that diabetics take, uh, blood pressure medications will do it. So aging population, pharmaceutical drugs, if you're not taking CoQ10 in the diet, you're not eating a lot of fish, you need CoQ10. So I could go on forever about CoQ10, but my final analysis is I couldn't practice cardiology without it.